Hello. PG Admin 4 recently added support for deploying PostgreSQL instance into the cloud. In my previous video, I have explained how to deploy PostgreSQL instance into the Amazon RDS. In this video, I will show you how to deploy PostgreSQL or EDB Postgres Advanced Server Instance into the EDB Beacanimal Cloud. To open the cloud deployment wizard, right click on any server or server group, select register and click on deploy cloud instance. So this wizard simplifies the deployment process through sequence of windows, cloud provider, credentials, instance specification, database details and review. So first we need to select the cloud provider. In this video, I will show you how to deploy into the UDB Beacanimal. So let's select that option and click on the next button. So in order to deploy into the EDB Big Animal, first you need to authenticate yourself to the EDB Big Animal. So click on this button. Okay, so this will redirect you to the EDB Big Animal authentication page. So you need to confirm this code and click on the confirm. So if you are not yet logged in, so you need to first log in. There are two options, first with the Big Animal account or with the Azure Marketplace. So I will select this one. Okay, so here you can see the code has been verified. And you can also see authentication completed successfully. Click the next button to proceed. So click on the next button. And here you need to provide the instance specification. So first let's give the cluster name. PG admin test demo select the region in which you want to deploy the instance so i will select australia east so this is the public ip range for permitting the inbound traffic you can add the multiple ip addresses or ranges by comma separated this is the default ip address for the host where pg admin server is installed next is the instance type so select instance type there are three options available general purpose memory optimized and compute optimized i will select memory optimized the next is instance series i will select standard psv4 family cpu you can select either of this option the next is instance size so there are many options available you can select as per your requirement I will select the lowest one the next is storage you need to provide the volume type and volume properties volume type azure premium storage and for the volume properties there are multiple options available you can select here as per your requirement here i will select the lowest one 4 gigabytes 120 provision iops and 25 provision mbps and click on next so first we need to select the pg admin server group all these server will be listed here demo server so i will select the demo one next is database type so there are two options available oracle compatible and postgres sql so oracle compatible is basically the adb postgres advanced server option and the second one is postgres sql i will select the postgres sql next select the database version i will select the latest one give the database password and the next option is higher availability so if you turn on this option that means that your cpus will triple as well as your cost so i will not going to select right now you can select as per your requirement and click on the next button so here you can review all the details which you have just entered and click on the finish button. Once you click on the finish button, one background process will be created for the deployment and you can monitor the progress of that background process through process window. So for the more details, you can also click on more details button and here you can check the logs. Also. You can notice here the PG admin test demo server has been created and this icon indicates that the deployment is in progress. Once the deployment is done, this icon will be replaced with the default server icon. 
as we can see the deployment process of the instance is already in progress 87 percent is done you can see here i have already logged in with kushbu vashay so the deployment is successfully completed you can check the more details and also here you can see the icon has been replaced with the default icon and let's now try to connect the server give the password okay so it's connected and here also you can check the host address port maintenance db username etc has been updated so here you can check the database edb admin also you can check here the pg admin test demo already created and you can edit cluster if you wish so as you have seen the deployment process through pg admin 4 is very simple so i would encourage you to use this feature and give us your feedback thank you